Hi, this is Matt Kuntz with NAMI Montana, and I'm the executive director, and I'm going through some of the things that happened at the Montana legislature, so, some of them that we worked on, some of them that got through, some of them that did. And this one is about provider rates as they were funded in House Bill 2. And it all began, I think, in the funding rate crisis of 20. 17 and that really just decimated Montana's community support programming and then we had COVID on top of it and inflation and workforce shortages all of these things happening and it just really decimated our ability to serve people across the state and all of these different nonprofit organizations, all of these county organizations have really struggled. So one of, one of the things that the Gianforte administration did, and it was former DPHS director Adam Meyer when he first came here, was to get a provider rate study to set some benchmarks for how much these services actually cost to be able to make the case for real service rate improvements. And the provider rate study was worked on in the course of about a year and a half. And then part of it was implemented by the governor's office in the budget. And it wasn't as high as a lot of advocates wanted. It wasn't as high as a lot of community healthcare entities wanted. But it was dramatically higher than we've seen an increase before, at least since I've been working in Omni, Montana, since the summer of 2008. So it really was a dramatic improvement in the rates and a realization that we have to pay Medicaid providers closer to their costs. From Omni, Montana's perspective, if we're not as a state providing cost-based reimbursement, we should not expect to be able to get the services. So that's that's our stance on it. And um, we weren't able to get as far as cost-based reimbursement, but there were some really positive, strong gains. And there was a ton of advocacy from organizations around the state. There was a lot of leadership on this issue from the Gianforte administration, DBHHS Director Charlie Barrington, Representative Lou Jones, Representative Bob Keenan, Representative Mary Caffaro, uh, you know, across the aisles, Representative Jen Carlson pushed on it hard. There was a lot of push for this, and I think there were significant gains at this session. It's not going to be enough for a lot of agencies. It's not gonna be enough for a lot of these organizations that are providing the care that we need, but it is no doubt that it is an order of magnitude above what we'd seen before of one or two percent increases a year like now we're at 30 percent and more of increases so it was a step forward a really positive step forward and from NAMI Montana's perspective we're incredibly grateful to everyone that worked on it to everyone that supported these efforts thank you